crazy when everyone keeps wanting to see remakes and sequels. And at one point, I was attached to Hellraiser, Scanners, Children of the Corn. I was attached to all these movies, and I turned them down. I kept, here's my kind of philosophy about any sort of remake or reimagining. If you can't do something better than the original, or you can't do something that adds to the original, then I don't want to do it. So the problem with something like Scanners is, I look at that movie, and I don't know what I do differently. I don't know how you approach Scanners and say, here's what I would do differently. With with Mother's Day, I saw this movie, and I thought it was hilarious, and I thought it was awesome, but you could make it better. You could do something different to Mother's Day. And I'm a huge fan of the Troma catalog, and I, I, I'm a huge fan of both the Kaufman brothers. But when you watch that movie, uh, it's, it's, it is dated, and, and I, I, it's a movie that I looked at and said, okay, this can be made. You can do something unique and different with it, but I didn't want to remake the movie. And that was the big thing I said is, I'll do this, but it's not going to be a remake because I, – I, it has a cult following of its own. That's why that would be like the equivalent of someone coming up and saying, I want to remake uh, Repo. It would upset me because that's such a cult fa following. But if mm -hmm. they said, I want to make another movie exist in this world using the same characters, that's different. And so the kind of approach was I, I met with Lloyd and I met with uh, the director, Charlie Kaufman, and I said, you know, here's kind of my approach on it, taking the same characters, Mother, Ike, Adley, the same characters, Queenie, and saying, what if they existed in a serious world? It was not a joke. It was not this big rednecks in the woods. Problem with the original Mother's Day is every movie is stolen or borrowed from it since then. The original Mother's Day was a bunch of rednecks in the woods that tortured and, uh, you know, uh, was very misogynistic against women. But we've seen that through countless other films, and I, I wanted to do something different. But what interested me was this kind of uh, fucked up, weird relationship between the kids and their mother, and them trying to basically... Uh, make mother proud. That was a line from the original film that we keep in this movie, is you've made your mother very proud. And it's we all have mothers, it's something we can all identify with, and we all want them to be proud of us. But what happens when you have sadistic killers, robbers, thieves, rapists, trying to do the same thing? And so that interested me. Well, we found out that Brett Ratner had the, Brett Ratner had the rights to it. And uh, I met with Brett Ratner a couple of times, and I said, here's what I'd want to do with it. And the idea was to take a very, very serious approach with the Mother's Day thing, not make it tongue-in-cheek, not make it kit kitschy, uh, do something very serious and uncomfortable, and that's what we ended up doing with, with the movie. There is a very uncomfortable scene in there that that I uh, actually talked about when I did. I did an early review yeah, on the yeah. film, and yeah, I think people are definitely going to remember that. And another really memorable thing about it is the fact that you cast Rebecca De Mornay as the mother, and she was in. You know, I guess the hand yeah. rocks the cradle is the closest thing to her. Did that freak you out? Is that what made you think of her? Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, casting is such a hard part of any movie because casting can make or break the film in such a mm -hmm. horrific way. For example. There, I could have gone, let's say, Ellen Burstyn, for example. There is a version of Mother's Day that has Ellen Burstyn in it. Or, let's say, um, uh, Sissy Spacek. There's, there's a version of Mother's Day with that. And, you know, it, the, the question right off the bat was, which version of this movie would we want to make? Do we want to make the, 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 cack, the cackling cold mother who's crazy and bonkers and saying crazy stuff? Uh, and I decided very early on I didn't want to do that because I'd seen that. I wanted to make a movie that upset people. Based on that one scene in Last House on the Left, we were just talking about this. There's a scene in Last House on the Left where it's one of my favorite scenes, where uh, Krug and his band of, of killers had just finished raping and carving his name in the chest of a girl. Mm -hmm. And he stops for a second and they're picking grass out of their hands. And there is a 10 second, 10 second moment that made me want to be a director. It made me want to direct movies. And there's this 10 second moment in Last House on the Left as they're picking this dirt and, and grass away from their hands, they look disturbed and disgusted and almost remorseful. And it was such a, 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 a kind of weird thing to do to take these horrific killers, rapists, murderers, and actually show pity on them for a second and then turn it right back around. And I wanted to experiment, do that with an entire movie. Take these horrible people, but make them human. And I think that one of the things that makes Mother's Day unique and I'm most proud of is there are no clear-cut villains in the movie. Everyone's a shade of gray. The victims are as bad as the killers. And the mm. killers are as sympathetic as the victims. And I think that that is going to upset a lot of people and alienate a lot of people, but it's what I love about the movie. Wow. Wow. Yeah.